35 PC and console games have just received their Play Scores last January. The Play Score is a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Let's start with the PC. Urban Empire. Experience a unique way of playing base building that speaks way too much of our real life jobs. Or not. Scheme political agendas, plan social events, and guide four houses vying for capitalism. Unfortunately, receives a below average play score of 6.14. Dungeon Souls. Enjoy this top down roguelike game that shares an ominous tagline Move fast or die fast. Control a group of five fallen heroes in their quest to find a magical orb and bring them back to life. But is it enough? Well, yeah. It received a decent play score of 7.33. Arizona Sunshine. A zombie game on VR? You got it. Vertigo Games gives you your dream of surviving an undead infestation with powerful weapons, responsive weapon-based movement, and the satisfaction of popping their undead heads. Co-op is also supported. It has a play score of 7.97. Tales of Berseria. This 16th main entry of the famed Tales franchise brings you a whole new character that screams of angst and hatred. Its third-person gameplay remains the same from its franchise, and the story and characters are memorable. It has a worthy play score of 8.20. Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Developer WayForward's prize platformer hits the PC with the iconic Half Genie Shantae. Enjoy its fun platforming adventure with lush visuals and smooth animations. Embark on a quest filled with magical genies and side scrolling fun. It has a play score of 8.22. Resident Evil 7, Biohazard. Capcom takes a risky attempt at reviving survival horror. They succeeded. Enjoy Resident Evil like it was before but with a more visceral first-person perspective. Survive the game's gruesome nightmares and escape from the bakers. It has a good play score of 8.53. Detention. This indie horror game is a work of art. Developed by Red Candle Games, step inside classic martial law Taiwan. Learn about its mythologies, culture, and the lingering mystery that befalls Greenwood High School. It's a good game with a play score of 8.56. One Shot. This indie RPG oozes with a delightful narrative, clever puzzles, and is completely charming in its own way. It breaks the fourth wall with unique gameplay mechanics, and at the same time, remaining true to its main goal of restoring a long dead son. You only have one shot. It receives a play score of 8.62. For the PS4. Perfect. For a VR game that takes no campaign to follow, this is surely a sweet escape from the reality we live in right now. Experience a beautiful world with the PSVR's potential. Drench in sun-soaked beaches. Feel the rush of air and snow. But unfortunately, this suffers from a low play score of 6.37. Lethal VR. From the creators of Black, Dangerous Golf, and Burnout, gives you a game that tests your metal against a wide variety of weapon choices. Be a skillful blade wielder, a marksman, or a kung fu master by using the PlayStation Move controller. It has a play score of 7.18. Fate Extella, the Umbral Star. Originally a Japanese exclusive, the game finally hits the Western market. Following the events of Fate Extra, take control of a master as you control a group of servants to fend off evil enemies. It receives an average play score of 7.92. The Flame and the Flood, Complete Edition. Survive the never-ending waters of its procedurally generated river as you control a character with little means of survival skills. Increase your level of resourcefulness and make it through sickness, weather, and vicious wildlife. It barely made a scratch with a play score of 8.02. Tales of Berseria. Bandai Namco returns with their famed Tales series, introducing Velvet Crow, a woman torn apart by traumatic memory. It's in this 16th title that the series marks a graceful return with its amazing story, fun combat, and memorable characters. It excels with a play score of 8.45. The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. Clementine isn't the only one trying to live the life among the walkers. This time, take control of a whole new character as he goes on a self-discovery of morally great choices and the fear of the unknown. This is Telltale's third Walking Dead season, with a play score of 8.56. Yakuza 0. Experience the birth of the Yakuza in this brutal prequel of the popular Yakuza franchise. This time, uncover the origins of Japan's most powerful underground syndicate. Set in the 80s, it brings a whole new feel to classic open-world Japan. 
It has an awesome play score of 8.68. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Survival horror marks the return in Capcom's newest entry to their viral franchise. This time, the world is not in Ethan's favor as he finds out his wife has been kidnapped by a family of lunatics. Step inside the biohazard and make it out alive in first-person form. It has a play score of 8.74. Hatsune Miku, Project Diva Future Tone. Everyone's favorite blue-haired Vocaloid makes a return to the PS4 with new tunes, pleasing graphics, and a wonderful concert experience to remember. It has a play score of 8.84. Gravity Rush 2. Cat returns with her awesome physics bending abilities in the sequel to the hit franchise. This time, use her newly acquired gravity techniques to control her movement speed, strength, and power. It has a good play score of 8.88. For the Xbox One. Death Trap. This game is a brutal test of all the skills you acquired from various tower defense games. It incorporates RPG mechanics with deep strategic elements. Fend off monster hordes from the other world and survive the end of each round. Team up with a friend or do things on your own. It has a play score of 7.19. Rise and Shine. A game cleverly named after its main character and weapon. Take control of Rise and his massively powerful gun. Shine, in an effort to stop a group of invading aliens from ravaging the planet. It has a decent play score of 7.20. Sky Force Anniversary This game marks their 10th anniversary celebration by giving you the legendary shoot 'em up to the Xbox One. This time, experience the satisfaction of exploding things, fight epic boss battles, and beautifully 3D visuals. Gameplay remains true to its core, and it has an average play score of 7.92. The Walking Dead, A New Frontier Telltale's award-winning series reaches its third season with a more mature Clementine. The series continues to surprise fans with its new playable character and, of course, the signature choice-driven story. It has a play score of 8.17 and it's safe to say that Robert Kirkman's creation is in good hands. Bastion Not to be mistaken with Overwatch's adorable Omnic, I hate him. This game marks the beginning of Supergiant Games' incredible list of good indie games. Play as a kid surviving a mysterious calamity. The game is narrated perfectly in every step you take, and its beautiful hand-painted visuals make it all the more perfect. It's an indie masterpiece, and it has finally made its way to the Xbox One with a play score of 8.42. Shantae, Half-Genie Hero. Way Forward's Poster Genie makes her first debut in HD. This charming action platformer puts your responsibility to save Shantae's world from impending catastrophe. Use her special abilities to destroy enemies and encounter memorable boss battles. It has a play score of 8.58. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Capcom made the right decision to rejuvenate the dying franchise in a shift to the terrifying first-person view. Bioterror has a new victim, and it's the Baker family. Experience horror like never before, as it receives a play score of 8.61, making it the highest rated Xbox One game on this list. For the PS3, The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 2. Nihon Falcom's long-running RPG series takes a different turn with a sequel of Trails of Cold Steel. Follow the rest of Class 7's story as they make things right in a grand adventure in the Erebonian Empire. It receives a good play score of 8.31. For the Wii U, Shantae, Half Genie Hero, Risky Beats Edition. No, it's not a rhythm game, it's a Shantae game ported to the Wii U. The only feature this game offers is a physical copy with the game's soundtrack. Return to Shantae's magical journey with the music, fun and adventure with a play score of 8.23. On the 3DS, Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King. Return to Wonderland and uncover the story of the Cursed King as you save the world from an evil magician. 8 rekindles the series' old flame but with new features, including new bosses, dungeons, items, quests, and a secret ending? It has an above-average play score of 8.86. Finally, for the PS Vita, Lara Croft Go, a turn-based puzzle that doesn't share the same gameplay style as the original. This award-winning mobile game sets forth to the Vita along with its touch-based puzzles and environment manipulation. It has a play score of 8.10. Fate Extella, The Umbral Star Fans of the Fate series will be delighted to know that their longtime game has finally been localized. 
take the role of master and help your band of servants in a quest to obtain the powerful Regalia Ring. The game is as action-oriented as ever, and with PS Vita's portability, this is a gift. It has a play score of 8.11. Yomawari, Night Alone. What happens when you're left alone in the night with your dog? Well, creepy alleys, dark corners, and the lurking evil spirits might answer your question. This game mixes a good blend of horror and cute as you find your missing sister and dog. It has a play score of 8.26. Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Half Genie Shantae makes a debut to the PS Vita in High Definition Wonder. Control this spunky little girl and use her wide array of abilities to save her land from a growing threat. Use her hair, transform into animals, and do whatever it takes to be a hero. It has a play score of 8.68, and it's the highest rated PS Vita game on this list. You may get these games by clicking the first link on the description box below. Thank you to these awesome contributors from around the world who helped us translate our videos to their respective languages. If you want to take part in the growth of our What to Play community, please translate your favorite What to Play videos to your language. Simply click that More button below and select Add Translations. We publish four gaming videos every week. Don't miss any of them. Click that bell button beside Subscribe, check the Send Me box, and save. Don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. To receive the latest play score and gaming updates, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Google+.